Abel. Yes. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of uh, language arts, okay? Okay. So with the language arts, let's see if we get the light going. All right. I'm gonna read you some things, okay? Okay. And right. All right. So this is author's purpose. The author is what? What do you think the author is? The author is the person who writes the words. In a story, in a book, right? In a book. Okay, cool. So it says for me to read each passage below, right? Mm -hmm. And do what? Fill in the bubble. Of? Of the correct answer. Okay. So I'm going to read this story. You can help me read it? Yep. All right, cool. Elephants are the largest land mammal on earth okay they have long trunks all right what's a trunk it's it's what they use to suck up water <laughs> okay cool trunks all right what does this say african elephants have larger ears than indian elephants okay Elephants have thick skin. Right. They cannot jump. Cannot jump. They are very big. But. But they are light. Footed. Footed. Because. Of the. Of the padding. On. Of the thick padding. Uh -huh. On their feet. They can walk quietly. All right. So elephants are the largest land mammal on earth. They have long trunks. African elephants have larger ears than Indian elephants. Elephants have thick skin. They cannot jump. They are very big, but they are light footed. Because of the thick padding on their feet, they can walk quietly. That is the story. That's the passage, okay? Okay. What is the author's purpose? What do you think the author was trying to do in this story? What is the author's purpose in the writing, in the writing the text, in writing the text above? Is it A, to persuade? Do you know what persuade means? Yes. What does persuade mean? To convince. Okay. To entertain? What do you think entertain means? To like entertain you. Okay. And to inform. What do you think to inform means? To like give you information. Okay. To give you information. All right. So after reading this passage, what do you think the author was trying to do? Was he trying to persuade me to do something? No. Was he trying to entertain me? No. Do you think he was trying to inform me? I think that's the correct one. You think he was trying to inform me? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Give you information. Give me information. All right, cool. So that's that's this one. We'll go on to the next one. Okay. You're gonna try to help me read this one? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, this is uh, Pirate, Pirate Pete. Pete. Okay, Pirate Pete and his shipmates sailed, sailed out to, to the sea. sea. Out to sea. They were in search of lost treasure. treasure. Mm -hmm. They hoped to find all kinds of gold and gems that would make them rich. Okay. They stumbled upon a desert. That's deserted. deserted. A deserted island and they and got out to explore you know what explorer is yeah like if there was exploring <laughs> okay they they found a dark cave they were slightly scared but also excited 
to explore the cave. All right. Will they, they discover, discover snakes, snakes and, and spiders, spiders or jewels and riches? Mm. I have a question. Mm -hmm. What's what, the question? What are riches anyway? Riches? Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, like diamonds, it's riches, diamonds, jewels, makes you rich, money, anything that has high value. You got that? So it says, will they discover snakes and spiders or jewels and riches? Hmm. All right, let's see. This one says, what is the author's purpose in the writing, in writing the text above? Do you believe it's to persuade? You remember what persuade is? To convince. Do you think they're trying to convince us of anything? To convince them to do it? Do you think that the author was trying to convince somebody about something? Mm, nah. Okay. They might not. All right. Do you think it was to entertain us? Maybe it was to entertain us. You think so? Yeah. It could be. It could be. Or was it to inform us? To give us information. Hmm. This one's a tricky one. I'm not sure. Well, let's do by the process of elimination. What don't you think it is? I don't think it was to entertain you because that wouldn't make any sense, would it? Mm. Maybe. It might to entertain you. You think it would be to entertain you? Mm -hmm. Well, what don't you think it is? Well, I don't think it was the author to convince them which is what what word is convince persuade okay persuade is the same thing as convince because so you don't think they're trying to convince us of anything no because it would be like what is the author's purpose in writing the text above so do you persuade think, do you think it was persuading us of anything no okay. that wouldn't make any sense do you think he was trying to inform us of something or was he trying to entertain us? Was this an entertaining story or was it informational? I think it was information because they was actually telling us what happened. Okay. Hmm. That's true. Um, yeah. Like, well, they hoped that they would find all kind of golds and gems to make them rich, right? Right. Gold makes you rich. Yeah. Um, so this is more like a story, right? Yeah. Do you think it's a real story? Pirate Pete? I think that might be a real story. I don't think it's a real story, man. I need to hook it up on Google. Well, you don't need Google. You got me and you. So we can figure this out together. So you think that this is an informational story or do you think it's an entertaining story? Were you were you entertained by this story? Yes. Okay. And did you get some information from this story? Yeah. Okay, so it might be one of those two. But we'll get back to that. Okay? Okay. Cool. This one says Alex's eighth birthday bash. Saturday, March twenty-third. 2 to 4 p.m. Uncle Willie's Pizza Party. Party. Okay. What is the author's purpose in writing the text above? That one? Yes. Do you think that they were trying to convince us or persuade us? No. Nah. Do you think it, we were trying to get entertained? Or do you think they were trying to inform us? It wouldn't be informed. Why not? Because it would, it would actually make no sense because maybe it a little bit is because they're just telling us when the birthday is. And what is that? It's Alex's right. birthday. So what do you call it when somebody's telling you something? I call it inform. And... Inform or in for what? 
Inform. Inform? You think it's inform? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this is just basically a flyer, and flyers are made to give us information. Yeah. So what do you believe it is? Inform. Okay. I think that's correct. Okay? Okay. Now, this one is says, the epic vacuum, the most trustworthy household appliance. I think that's another flyer. 25% off. It's telling us to do what? Buy one today. It's telling us to buy one today. Hmm. Persuade. You think it's persuade? Yeah, because they're convincing us to buy it. You think they're trying to convince us? Yeah. Okay, so that's persuade. Yep. I think you use that in the right term. So you got Alex's birthday correct. You got the persuasion correct. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to try to figure out what Pirate Pete was talking about. Do you think, so we got persuade here, we got inform here, right? Right. We have inform here. What's the one that we didn't use yet? Entertain. You think it's entertaining? Yeah. Okay. That might be it. That might be it. So we use the process of what? Elimination. And we kind of figured this out. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is what? Author's purpose of language arts. Okay, and this is uh, test grade. From what grade? Second grade. And you just leaving what grade? What grade are you leaving? I'm leaving. What grade were you just in? Oh, I was just in first grade. No, you're going to first grade. Oh yeah, I'm going to first grade. Where were you at before? I was at... Kindergarten? Kindergarten. There you go. Okay. All right, we're going to get into nouns and pronouns. But we'll do this one another day. All right. All right. Good deal, man. Good deal. So you found that difficult? It wasn't very difficult. But what did you do? I used the process of elimination. Process of elimination, and you also used your listening skills. Your listening skills, and you use your head. All right, yep. cool. Use my brain. Use your brain. All right, man. Good job. All right. I think we can um, finish this video. You want to tell anybody anything? This could get you a lot of learning and. Y'all can also buy one at Family Dollar. Family Dollar. Okay. You just put Family Dollar.